This webinar is particularly timely as we find ourselves navigating an increasingly digital world. Absolutely. We know that technology offers numerous benefits, connecting us with loved ones, providing access to vast information, and even offering entertainment. However, it also presents challenges that can affect our mental health, such as feelings of isolation, anxiety, and addiction to digital platforms. That's why we're here today to explore these issues and equip ourselves with strategies to thrive this digital age. In today's session, we'll hear from two incredible speakers who are experts in the field of mental health. They will guide us through critical topics that resonate with many of us. Our goal is to foster open conversations, share valuable insights, and ultimately, empower each of you to take in to take charge of your mental health our first speaker is an administrative officer one at the provincial health office patangas let us all give him a virtual clap to mr angelo jolly perico hi Humara. hi jessica thank you for that warm introduction and i will be facilitating the first uh, part of the lecture online gaming is not that bad because it is created it was developed for us to have fun, for us to enjoy, okay? But the problem is here. Video game addiction, okay? So according to the World Health Organization, video game addiction is a pattern of gaming behavior characterized by impaired control over gaming, Increasing priority given to gaming over other activities. To simplify it, video game addiction has something to do or affected our daily living. Particularly those individuals who, who've been grounded to gaming. Their daily activities is being hampered. And how can we somehow lessen uh, this? Uh, impact of gaming addiction to our mental health we can practice mindfulness okay and that brings us to our next speaker our next speaker is the founder of one hostility community a platform making wellness accessible for growth seekers we're excited to introduce miss karen and navarro who will lead us to an experimental session focused on how to take care of mental health in this digital age. So without further ado, let's welcome Ms. Karen Ann Navarro to this virtual stage. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Okay. Oh, this is going to, I forgot to tell you, this is going to be an interactive session, by the way. Like one of the things that... Um, Angela mentioned earlier is we have to be there for each other, right? And what better way to practice that than to really um than to do it right now? So Angela did the theory theoretical part of the of the talk. I will be focusing on the experiential part of the session. And interestingly, he talked about mindfulness. We didn't um really um communicated but actually what i'm going to do this afternoon is like i'll let you experience all of the mindfulness techniques that he mentioned he mentioned four things that you can do to practice being present to practice enjoying the moment and to take care of your mental health he mentioned mindful breathing he mentioned body scan meditation he mentioned mindfulness um and then He's talking about celebrating small things. So what we'll do is we'll just um no I'll what we'll do is we'll go through these activities together. Okay, um I'll make it very basic for everybody. We'll go through the activities um slowly and then gradually until until we get the hang of it. Your host told you earlier that I'm part of a community. This is um really an advocacy this is um something that i really i really do um lalo na for october month i'm i started one holistic community to help people stay calm and e during the pandemic and even now after the pandemic we're continuing to provide that service to people and this mental health month 
I'm doing free meditation challenge. So I'll put the link here. It will bring you here. This is a platform we're using. And every day there, I have daily meditation. You can check the calendar. Every day, it's at 7.30 a.m. So you can add it to your calendar, go to Google, and you can actually add it in your day. So that's one, and then save it. So you get reminded. That's one of the things that we're actually teaching people to do, like to carve time out for self-care, like put it in your schedule. 